Okay, so a few things that we need to try and tackle now. We need to go and confront uh, Kuno because we found out that he lied to us about this armor. So we're going to return and confront him. But also now it's past the time of day when I think those... Uh, this guy's probably... Well, I don't know. <laughs> I, he looks like Northern Line, actually. Uh, I don't know if he's a dock worker because I think it was after 4 o'clock or something. I thought it was 4.30 that this opened, but maybe, I was, maybe I'm mistaken on that time. We'll see who this new guy is. And maybe I'll try waking this guy up. What could go wrong? It's all about money, you know. Gotta spend money to make money. Yo, money <laughs> is what really matters. They say money can't buy you happiness. Okay, cool. Good chat. Good chat. If we can wake this guy up, maybe we can get info. And maybe he's actually... Maybe he turns out to be the, like, union rep guy that we heard about. He's in a deep slumber. Perhaps he's on his way to where you just came from into the primordial darkness. We actually have a pretty decent chance of doing this now. Plus one because uh, Ruck is talking to Garte. All right, let's go for it. Fail. You gently shake his shoulder, but nothing happens. This man could probably sleep soundly in a ship's engine room. All right, so physical instrument or something else to try that again later. Okay, let's go confront Kuno, this little shit in the yard that I cannot stand. Don't be afraid to say weird things. Don't worry. Don't even have to try. Wrench everything out of our mouth is weird. Hey, Kuno, come here, you little bastard. Fuck, this Kuno kid? Yeah, listen. I, I went and I talked to Manana about the armor. Actually, hold on a second. This is empathy. Uh, hold on. I, th I just realized we're carrying this thing. So we have empathy there. We're getting a bonus, but that's not going to work, likely. Uh, I'm going to see if maybe we can intimidate this guy somehow. Because our intimidation was getting hit pretty hard. We'll see if that becomes an option. Fuck, this cool no kid. Listen, I talked to Manana about that armor. Oh, hello. So, he raises his eyebrows, projecting aggressive indifference. You should thank him. Well, uh, we're, oh, so we're like basically sucking up to this kid. I hate him. I hate this kid. I hate him. And nothing. The, the tip really paid off. Uh, good job, Kuno. Thanks. Oh, and what? He quickly looks around. Don't be playing Kuno off as a snitch, bitch. The oldest trick in the book, people. Are you snitching, Kuno? This is some ancient bullshit, people. He addresses the surrounding windows. Kuno would rather take ten than snitch. Pig's full of shit. Get the fuck out of here. That didn't work very well. He found a real nice button to push. Turn the tables on him. <laughs> all right, well, uh, hey, about this crime scene, you kids play in this yard all the time or what? Right, pig, this is where Kuno plays with little wooden choo-choo. Fuck do you want with it? Well, uh, the dead man's clothes were in the trash container. How'd they get in there? Yeah, Kuno doesn't know shit about that. That shit's beneath Kuno. Listen, so, man, I, I need to know. It could be a lead in the investigation and someone may have tampered with the murder scene. Listen, listen, he stops you. Kuno doesn't care about the small time shit. Just listen. Kuno saw what you did there. Dumpster diving, sad shit. Kuno could hook you up with some sweet rags. Shit like Kuno's wearing. He points to his pants. Your size, real price, 500 real. Wait, listen, like... <laughs> okay, uh, entertain me, fine. What's so great about these pants anyway? Pig, these are FALN modulars. Liquid fit, performance crotch, urban survival shit. Made in Mirova by scientists. Believe it, you need this shit. He unzips his jacket to give you a quick peek at his plastic wrap pants. They are graphite black and look brand new. These could drastically improve your chances of survival in the urban wilderness. They are, I do like the cut off knee, that's cool. Coach physical instrument endorses these pants. They are tartan ready. It'll also make you into an idiot. Well, probably don't want that. Well, uh, I, I might be interested in the pants. We'll talk about that later. All right, Pigo, his face lights up. Shit's rolling. Don't do business with the pig, Kuno. He's going to steal all your money, Kuno. New task, buy FALN pants from Kuno. Oh, my God. As you can see, Kuno nods towards the fence. Kuno and C don't trust you. Can't do business without trust. There's more to his distrust than being a pig. He feels threatened by something obscure in you. What that is, however, remains a puzzle for now. Hmm. Okay. 
Listen, uh, while I was digging in the trash over there, I, I did find this mug. Ah, the fucking mug in the trash? Is this about the fucking clothes again? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, d does this uh, quaint better not taken out of its historical context mug have anything to do with it? Yeah, Kuno sees where this is going. Kuno's got that fast brain, he whispers excitedly. You saying you pigs are after the mug fucker because he's the clothes fucker. Can't hear you, Kuno. Speak louder. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying, Kuno. Someone has tampered with the crime scene and cleaned up some of it. Shit, that's tense, he thinks for a moment. Someone's going to get the beat down basement, huh? Mug guy going to get tied to the radiator. He nods in approval. Kuno doesn't know who put that shit in there, and if he did, he wouldn't squeal. But if you find out, maybe you can. Tell the Kuno who it was. He's curious. He likes putting two and two together. Stop turning into a pig, Kuno. They're trying to get you hooked on the stitching. She lets out a hiss, even meaner than before. Get away from my Kuno. Yeah, Kuno jumps back. Get your bacon shit away. Kuno doesn't like to be seen with the popo. Get your shit down. Get out Kuno's face. All right, Kuno, listen, buddy. That ladder over there, you ever climb that? Look at this fucking shit, he screeches. You trying to get Kuno killed? So you say that the ladder is unclimbable. The fuck does Kuno know? Kuno's not a fucking acrobat. Lieutenant takes a quick note in his book. <laughs> Kuno, not acrobat. It's a trap, Kuno. Don't climb it, Kuno. All right, well, what about the greenhouse over there? Dunno. Kipped ass gardener used to work there. Kipped is a pejorative term used to describe people of South Seminese or Areopagite descent. It used to be a common name for first name among the Areopagites of Ilmara. Not so much anymore. Hold on, you mean uh, the Ghana used to work there? Yeah, that's what Kuno said. She couldn't handle the heat, so she took off. Kuno can't take it. Fills his lungs with his rancid air. His eyes get a little watery. Shit's nothing to Kuno. You mean the, the woman by the whirling rags, that gardener? Look, Kuno doesn't explain shit. Kuno just says shit. He looks you in the eye and nods as if agreeing with himself. Yeah, her. Thanks, Rhetoric. What was she doing in the greenhouse in March anyway? What kind of gardening is done in March? Good point, Logic. Good point. You know, I, I actually should ask her about that. Absolutely. Yes, it seems suspicious. You don't like things like that suspicious. All right, I'm going to have some questions later. For now, let's talk about something else, Kuno. I don't know if we have any uh, more impressive or more uh, questions about the crime scene, but let's see. No. All right, let's see if we can get some empathy going with this kid. Made him look like a snitch. Kuno the snitch. Back down from Kuno. 17% uh, is a white check. He's on your crime scene bossing you around, and he's been here for a time, 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 too. And this is where he hangs out. You have to get more out of him. He could be useful. Hmm. <laughs> he's not gonna wanna he's not gonna buy into this. Yeah, Kuno, listen, but we're getting tired of this. Uh, I know this boundary pushing thing is new to you, but it's old news for us grown-ups. Get your snow out of Kuno's ass! <laughs> he knows we're like brown nosing him. He waves you off. Kuno knows how hard Kuno pushes it. Kuno pushes it hard level. You should give up, Popo, or the cun will keep fucking it out of you. You okay, Kuno? She looks worried. The cun has her confused. That went wrong. He took it as a compliment. Then he had a minor seizure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We need to either seriously up uh, empathy or uh, get lucky with something else. Who doesn't fucking care? All right. This is great. Thought complete. Rigorous self-critique. Here it is. Hard facts from the man that you are. You once jerked off in the locker room and you were caught. Now, this is all coming because we were a dick to Garte and to uh, the woman on the phone, Sylvie, I believe. And this caused us to have some self-reflection. And so now we're learning about all the shitty stuff that we've done. You held a young woman by the arm and kept her in your apartment for 20 minutes against her will. That's right. These are not flights of fancy. These are real deeds, Harry. There's the name again. Emerging from the darkness of your past, you tried shooting a fleeing suspect in the foot, but it hit him in the pelvis, crippling him for life. And above all, you let life defeat you. All the gifts your parents gave you, all the love and patience of your friends, you drowned it in neurotoxin. You let misery win. And it will keep on winning until you die or overcome it. Now, 
int and uh, intellect and psyche checks red check failures heal one morale and uh motorix and what's fys stand for um i would say like physical i can't remember what it is exactly red check fail failures heal one health learning cap for pain threshold increased to six cool Man, I on oh, yeah, these seem to be the way to go. I've said that like every time, but this is yeah, these are cool. Oh, physique. Yeah, physique. Okay, so who put the clothes in the trash? Who else has unauthorized access access to the whirling trash? Find this person and you'll know who tampered with your crime scene. It may take a while. I actually appreciate that the game does some of that stuff because there's certain things where like uh here, this might take some time. It might take a while. So you're not like just going around talking to everybody for no reason um buy the fln pants from kuno the track pants looked enticing but you and kuno were not close yet you need to figure out what's going on with him and then you can get your hands on some performance gear yeah okay okay ask the gardener about gardening in march that's our next lead here that we're gonna follow all right Hello again, officer. How are things? Uh, things are not bad, actually. But, hey, I got a question for you, if you don't mind. Tell me exactly, have you been... What have you been doing in your greenhouse in March? Uh, well, uh... She points to her wheelbarrow, surprised at the question. This might be the last snow we get. At least, uh, I hope so. Snow has nutrients in it, uh, helps everything green up in the spring. At least, that's what my grandma always told me. She smiles shyly. Yes, think about the cute grandma weird snow <laughs> oh disingenuous grandma let's squint our eyes and look at her intently <laughs> all you <laughs> wait what all you can see is the fact that her skin is a different color from yours that's literally all you're gonna have to run with that how did we fail that oh my god we rolled double ones a critical failure what the frick this is supposed to be our jam. Well, you're black. <laughs> and what does that mean? Well, uh, now, what kind of music do you listen to nowadays? Uh, no, nothing. Uh, the lieutenant turns to you. We should uh, proceed with our business in Martinez. What a giant catastrophe that was. Holy balls. That failed I miserably. It's snowing again. It felt like springtime just a few days ago. <laughs> Oh, that hurts so bad. Okay. So, well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to check out these other things that we haven't seen yet. Tectonic forces crack the pavement like an eggshell. Where are we at on times here? Advanced race theory, an hour, 19 minutes. We have all of these going now. So, we failed that and we healed. Which is, I guess these are like, these are fine. Um, there's some of these that once I fill this up, I'll probably remove some of these. Um, yeah. Hmm. We'll see. The damage looks like it could have been caused by an earthquake. This giant crack through here. The worn and beaten wooden planks of the bench do not overly look overly comforting. Hmm. The lieutenant looks down the street. We can sit on benches after we solve the murder. Let's go. You can revisit the bench if you ever need to pass the time while Lieutenant Kitsuragi's gone. Okay. So, we're not going to buy pants. We're waiting to internalize this. Uh, we're looking for armor pierce pieces randomly. We got to get the boots off, but we can't do that till the body's down. Uh, who put the clothes in the trash? Might take a while. Reality lowdown, find a rich person. Secret passages. Replace the boule, getting the body down. Got to get into the harbor, which we're working on. Victims tattoos, talk to... You should probably talk to about two people about them from this. Oh. Maybe we should, should have asked that guy about his tattoos. The gun damages. Hmm. Okay. There was mention of uh, some other shops and stuff. So maybe if we... Just explore the rest of the island. 
tire tracks leading onto the roof. The slush and rain has almost washed them off. An ancient fountain doesn't pump water here anymore. There's a tree in it. Let's go here. Hello. Knows the fed. Thank you. Roy's pawn shop. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Another dumpster. Fingerless gloves, plus one to electrochemistry, you don't say. Plus one to electrochemistry. So what we have right now is interfacing. Electrochemistry is the drug one. All right, all right, we'll keep that in mind. Water lock out of order until Wednesday, 7.15 a.m. Hey, yeah, let's go into the pawn shop. Revishal is pronounced Revishal. Orange is pronounced Oranye. Whoa. Cool. Some kind of machine, an antique cash register. Bust of a woman. The plaque simply says D E I. In the dark, a film projector is whirring away. We could talk to him about certain things. Most military wear, or mostly military wear, with a few more eccentric fashions thrown in. All right. This is a cool place. It's not often that I see offices of the RCM in my pawn shop. In my pawn shop. <laughs> That's a hard accent to do. The man at the counter turns to you slowly. What can I do for you? His courtesy is not insincere, but he prefers being alone with his projector, just watching the movement of light across the walls in his shop. Hmm. Ah, yeah, sorry. I, I feel like I'm kind of interrupting you a bit. Oh, no, not at all. I, oh, I guess I haven't had many customers lately. RCM or otherwise. Who are your customers usually? All kinds of people come through here. Locals, travelers, people looking for a deal, people looking for a keepsake, people who are terminally bored. I feel ya. As you can see, I have a wide selection of goods for everyone to choose from. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Just come in here and start, like, critiquing him. Yeah, uh, honestly, looking around, like, I think some of your selections are more tasteful than others. It keeps me entertained. Ooh. <gasps> Electrochemistry. Is Roy high? And if yes, then what is he on? Okay, hold on. Listen, I got other business to take care of, Roy. Okay, we're gonna switch straight up. Electrochemistry. Uh, where are you? Okay, boom. So we actually have some boosted stats here. Um, speed is for this one, for Psyche. This falls under physique, which is this is our highest rank of physique. It's actually almost as high as other things. Let's go for Hello it. Hello again. How can I help you? It's not bad. What I wonder if we should like try to talk to him about other stuff. And then maybe get a boost to it somehow. Listen, uh Roy, there's something I'd like to sell. Oh la uh, let me have a look. Clothes, fascinating photo of a corpse here. I have to check my pockets, check my access, my pawn menu. And I'm going to have to check my pockets, actually. Okay, so we could sell the pen. We could sell the handkerchief. I feel like these are so, like, have no value, really. But I don't know. Uh, I got a fascinating photo of a corpse here you might be interested in. Oh, no, I don't like these kinds of objects no sale <laughs> do you even know uh what the tattoos mean roy he frowns uh aphotic paths counter radiance networks anti-magnetism it's darkness that's all i know sell me something lighter you have absolutely no idea what aphotic paths are but the tattoos of the man are not that <laughs> uh would you be interested in buying any of my clothes 
I'm not purchasing any more clothing at the moment. Well, how would we do his accent? Ah, uh, he did it. Now it's so hard to like embody that. It's a little more British, I guess. It's more like uh, <laughs> something like something like that, I guess. For for Roy, a little bit more uh, British. I don't know. I don't have anything to sell at the moment, I guess, Roy. Uh, you might be able to aid in our investigation. Uh, I I doubt it. Do I uh, can try to answer any questions you may have. Uh, you know anything about the recent hanging? Uh, I do my best to keep my distance from a manner of butchery. Bad for business, bad for everyone. Oh, I got to get this under control. How am I going to do his accent? All right, it's impossible for me. So this is, this is all we're going to do. I do my best to keep my distance from all manner of butchery. Bad for business, bad for everyone. He doesn't know anything. Hey, you, you think you could help me get a corpse out of a tree? The corpse behind the hostel, I assume. He looks into the swirling lights, then to you. I don't have a truck with a mounted platform or anything of that sort myself. Ask around the harbor. There may be some workers there who'd be willing to help. Actually, that's all I got. Let's, uh, let's try and challenge this here. Come on. Oh. Feeling warm and enthralled by the movement of light while the mine continues to race forward. Lucky bastard, he's probably on Parolodon. It's tough to come by on the street. Parolodon? What's that? A drug developed by the military to treat and prevent radiation sickness. It has psychedelic side effects and makes your eyes turn yellow. Oh. Sir, uh, I got a question for you. You mind taking off your sunglasses? I'd like to check your eyes. Why on earth? These are prescription. I, I really can't see without them. That's well, pretty obvious that uh, I'm a chill cop who just wants some of what you're having. He frowns. Prelodion is such just something I, you know, since the People's Pile disaster, he coughs as if to mark his words. I was with the Emergency Relief Brigade. Had to take it for radiation sickness. He's not taking it for mental and emotional. Not physical. Oh, he's taking it for mental and emotional. Not physical pain these days. Hmm. That must, that must have been pretty tough, actually. The radioactive cleanup. He hesitates. Oi. <laughs> There's a reason why everyone's tried to forget any of it ever happened. And why no one has tried to repair or replace the pile. Now, all, the, all of his, all my English accents are, are basically Southern. I don't know why. So much disappointment and early deaths, cancer mostly, and we, we knew all that was coming even when we were cleaning up best we could. And whose fault was it that the generator failed? Um, no one's. He sighs and shakes his head. So much bitterness. A bunch of poor people with the, built themselves a primitive nuclear reactor hoping for the best. What do you think is going to happen? Well, how'd you end up running the pawn shop? The cleanup happened 15 years ago. I was young then. Later, my second aunt died, left me the shack and the assorted junk in it. So I came to Martinez. People told me, don't go there as a shithole. I said, people, we just got a nuclear pile meltdown. I'm not going to get as far from Faubourg as I can. Or I'm going to get as far from Faubourg as I can. Still in the same city, but... Shrugs. Well, I appreciate you telling me. Shrugs. I like theory more than story. Outward movement, not vortices. Yeah, you get in on those vortices, man. Hey, uh, you care to share your uh, Pirolodon with me? Have you tried it before? It's almost like he's worried for you. Lieutenant steps away, pretending to admire some of the knickknacks on the display. It looks like he doesn't want to get involved. Go ahead then, he thinks. As long as you can walk straight, I don't care. You won't be your narc. You won't be thrilled about it either. I, I haven't, but uh, don't worry, I, I can take it. If you say so. Here you go, man. He presents a large cap-shaped object in the palm of his hand. Very odd looking. Yes, darling, that's the coalition government ordained Perolodon straight into your gut. Whoa. All right, well, uh, thanks, man. <laughs> ho -ho. He looks down. Of course. Hey, by the way, uh, do you happen to have any guns like the ones carried by officers of the citizens' militia? 
Oh, someone else came in here earlier today asking the same question. I promptly sold her the gun you pawned a couple days back. Wait, I pawned it? This is a pawn shop, and it did feel as if you've met before. Oh, God. Lieutenant shifts from one feet to another. Wait, I sold you my gun? You, you, uh... You were adamant about getting rid of it, officer, he hesitates. You said you were undeserving of a citizen weapon of the Revishal Citizens Militia. And I don't keep... I don't like keeping guns around the shop for long. Off the charts photon emissions, that unhealthy kind. Well, what was the policeman a buyer too? Now, she didn't seem like a policeman, although she kept referring to herself as Pig. Oh, is this Kuno's friend? Which was odd. I, I found her interest in the gun a bit obsessive, but I was just happy to get rid of it. And of her. Truth be told, she was terrifying. Right, so let me get this right, Lieutenant turns to you. You sold your sidearm, issued by the citizen's militia, and now a citizen is running around the streets of Martinez with it. Listen, it, it's quite clear that there's only one explanation. She must be one of my rabid fans. In that case, she'll be happy to get the visit from us, if we can find her. Look, any idea where I can find this buyer? My apologies, officer. I have no idea where she was coming from or where she went. A needle in a haystack. There's nothing you can do about it now. So just have to hope you luck upon her somehow. Well, at least now I know I lost my solder. I must talk about something else. Of course. I'm not going to talk about the gun again. As you turn, a light catches your eye, making you squint. Ah, cool. So cool. Where is it coming from? From a distant sunset, a stage light, flash photography, nowhere in particular. It's just what superstar law officers do. They squint at lights and they solve shit. <laughs> yeah, that's me. I've been uh, establishing my superstardom hard lately. Yeah, you have. You're a big dick cop. Dick Mullen. Salam Rocky Bye. Badass on the edge disco cop. Time to recede into a ludicrous fantasy here. World. Here we go. Camera. Lights. Action. Fucking. Oh boy. Some kind of superstar. With a sudden flash, the world freezes around you. And you along with it. In an iconic monochrome solution, a black silhouette against a rasterized orange world. It's on. Cool. Okay, so, track down your gun. Keep looking, maybe someone knows something. It sounds like it's potentially Kuno's friend. Based on some of the things that they were saying there. Um, we now have... Parolodon, so plus one to Psyche, minus one to Health. So if we need to boost any of this stuff, that could be cool. We can use it uh, four times, it said. And we have a new thought in here too, some kind of superstar. Temporary minus to Logic. Hmm. Okay, so we have three things that we want to uh, process in our Thought Cabinet. We're a ways off of that yet. What about the uh, the rest of the stuff in here? Sawed off street light. Typical Martinet street light sits among assorted floor and table lamps. Hey, uh, where'd you get this? It was brought to me to be altered. He leans in so the pawnbroker wouldn't hear him. We're not here to investigate the theft of city property. He pauses, studying the light and adds, hey, You have to admit it's rather clever that what he's done with it. <laughs> uh, how much for the street light there? 700 real. A bargain, I dare say. Are you out of your mind? There's one that's like that on every corner. He rests his elbows on the counter and brings his face closer to the glass. The light has undergone three transformations, and every transformation, large or small, has a price tag. The light has been removed and rewired. That's two transformations, but what about the third? Look, I get how sawing it off and redoing the wiring could add to the cost, but what else? He throws you a look of weary patience. Uh, the most important transformation is the light's placement among ordinary indoor fixtures, which has adjusted its morphological field. <laughs> the light becomes suitable for use inside the home just a few days ago. Okay, yeah, that checks out. 700 real. I, there's got to be a way to make way more money than we have been. All right, there's nothing else I need to know about that light. What about these speakers? The boombox on the shelf looked well-loved and well-traveled. Chipped, dented, they stare at you with the unblinking eyes of the tape reels. Stand on the tips of our toes to see more. 
One especially catches your eye, deep gold and amber plastic with a big old handle on top. A classic boombox that says Stereo 8 approved. This is you, golden orange, a sunset suite. Just make sure it works before you buy it. Hey, uh, shopkeep, this Stereo 8 approved machine there. It's the Harman Wauschi WO2 made in Vesper. Designed in Seoul, he says. Plays all reel-to-reel -reel formats. 2 meter, 2 millimeter, 8 millimeter, 12 millimeter. It's even got a little radio in there. It'll set you back 12 real. Wow. Uh, what I really want to know is, could this device come in handy my police work? If police work means playing tapes, sure. You can use it for that. Or any other time you need to play a tape. We actually do need to play a tape. We have to find a tape as well. I don't know, maybe he has that too. Uh, are you sure this is all in work and order? Absolutely, I've tested every, each one myself with recordings of speech, found sounds, and music from a variety of genres, even though he grimaces, I don't really like music. We need 12 uh, real for this, we're like halfway there. All right, what else has he got? Knickknack stand. You see rows of toy soldiers guarding the rest of the trinkets displayed on the table. Some on horseback, others in rags, others yet in blue, bright blue uniforms. All are stern and unyielding in their duty. Try to find something pretty and cool here. Then use it to win her back. Oh. Is that right? Uh, win her back? Yes, buy something nice, a figurine. So I'm guessing like this, this undertone that we're learning here is we have hope that we can maybe reunite with our ex-wife or something. Let's inspect these first and then we'll try interfacing. But actually, hold on a second. Um, interfacing. Let's go here. Let's inspect the knights on horseback. Big man and horse... Big horses clad in lamellar armor and carrying flintlocks, the kind that would mow down a line of enemy soldiers in the blink of an eye. Hey, uh, who are they? Uh, Franco-Nigerian knights. He points at the... looks at the dusty figurines in the dim light. I used to be very serious about these guys. A long, long time ago. What about the blue uniforms? They're not all blue. These figurines also wear gold coats and caps complemented by orange trousers. They are variously posed, wielding swords and rifles with bayonets. Are these, uh, royalist figures? Uh, which ones? The man peers from his glass box. Ah, those. Yes, they are. I find the paint job a bit gaudy, but children like bright colors indiscriminately. And what about the figurine and rags? This set of soldiers isn't meant to look impressive. Uh, a few have rifles, but most of them even carry pistols. Some even shovels and tall sticks. Uh, are these even soldiers? Uh, you're probably talking about the revolutionaries, yes? The man behind the glass answers, Yes, they are soldiers. Revolutionary soldiers. I think their poverty has been exaggerated for effect. When you place them next to the royalists, it doesn't seem like they could possibly win. <laughs> uh, it's impossible to win against cohorts of capital. Ask my friend Garte, whose bitch it made me. Okay, he doesn't bat an eye. I'd like, I don't like either set too much, to be honest. All right, well, let's dig up a truly cool figurine in the box. Come on now. There we go. Ah, oh, what's this? A headless man riding a horse. A headless man wearing futuristic tracksuit trousers that say F-L-A-N. What is this? Oh, that's the headless F-L-N rider. Who? The headless F-L-N rider. He's an urban legend about a man who rides the streets of Revishaw sporting a F-L-N tracksuit. As you can see, he's missing his head. Points at decapitated figurine. 50 cents, bargain price. I'll throw in the tiny cap too. I think he's looking for it or something. That part of the story has many interpretations. He lost his cap when he lost his head. Perhaps he's looking for the head. Okay. Yeah, 50, 50 cents. What could go wrong? I'm on it. Yeah, did I mention that this figurine is supposed to be lucky? Always carry it with you, he grins. Really? That was a very smooth salesman grin that almost comes off as earnest. You should learn from him. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see it. Huh. The plastic headless FLN rider sits on top of his equally plastic bull, his posture indicating either desperation or pride. Comes as a set with the infamous FALN cap for which he lost his head. The head is not included. The headless FALN 
rider. He says it might be lucky, but like, who knows? 42 cents, we, we overpaid, clearly. All right, well, uh, we need to talk to people about the gun. Keep looking, maybe someone knows something. So what do we have, what else could we be doing here? Might take a while there, get the boot, boots off. We still have to get the body down. You know, we haven't actually talked to the the uh, Kuno's uh, friend there. And I have a hunch that that could be, um, that could be something about the gun, but I don't know how they, they would have money. So it's, it's really tough to say. There was also this guy over here. We can talk to him maybe when we come back. Okay, let's take a break here and then we'll investigate. Only warm primordial blackness. Your conscious for men cine. No larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. Ever. Never. Ever. 